Hey guys, this is Ingenious RS with another tutorial. This time the tutorial will be on Envato Analytics. So Envato Analytics basically helps you to check where your traffic comes from and how many page view you receive on each of your items daily or weekly. And it also shows a graph and charts. So this could really help you to market your items on social media or any other website and help you gain more traffic to your items so to log into Envato Analytics firstly you need to have access to the Envato API the process on how to do it is that you need to have an API key so I'll show you how to get an API key at first here's my profile so you go to your profile and then select my settings after you go to your settings then there's this menu option called API key so you go there now I have generated a bunch of API keys I'm just gonna blur it because you don't really want to give someone your API keys because they can have access to your account using other applications and see some of your info or upload items and stuff so I'm gonna do more tutorials on how to use those API keys on different applications but for now this is for Envato Analytics I already have my one for Envato Analytics here so I'm just gonna make a temporary one called So I'm making a temporary one called Envato Analytics Temp. So the API key has generated successfully. And now I'm just going to take Envato Analytics Temp here. So I'm just going to copy this. After this, you need to go to analytics.envato.com. So I'm just going to go there. It's here, analytics.envato.com and it's gonna load after this what you need to do is sign in with your username and API key they don't want password because password is not necessarily needed only the API key is enough to uh, sign in to the API so I'm going with ingenious artist here and I'm just gonna paste the API key right here and then sign in So as you can see, there are boxes, one for each of my items on all marketplaces. Here are some from PhotoDune and here are some from Graphic River. So you can sort it out. So I'm going to do up upload date descending. So I'm more active on Graphic River right now. So according to upload date, I can see all my new items here. So after this, on each of the item you can see that page views referrals and searches so I'm gonna show a better one for example this is my best selling item pure stencil art actions so when I go to page views or click pure stencil art actions it, it's gonna show the items page views So from July 1 to July 31, I mean this month, it's going to show all the days where your item had page views. So for example, July 7th had 92 page views, that's a lot. And then it gradually decreased and then uh, 5 page views on July 14th and then now none. So if you don't market your products and nobody clicks on that day, so there's going to be no page views there. So for total page views, I have 140 here for this month and unique page views, that's 129. So 129 people click on my link and went to the item. 
and the average time they stayed is 1 minute 45 seconds so that's a lot maybe some people bought it and some people didn't so you can access this page views page to analyze what information you can get and improve your marketing skills and stuff then I'm gonna show you referrals so referrals is like from where the traffic comes from like facebook.com most most of my promotion is on facebook.com so it mostly came from there like 25 and uh, they went directly from graphic river to my item so visits were 25 from here and then again facebook facebook and there's something graphic design junction i don't know what is that and after that external search so yeah the data for external search was not cached so i can't really do that like when they search from an external search engine instead of graphic river and stuff so that's basically it and just keep your username and api keys to yourself i mean not the username just the api keys don't give it to anyone so if you want to destroy an api key just click revoke api key and it will be destroyed api key has been revoked so as you can see there are no api keys anymore on Envato Analytics stem. So that's about it. Thanks for seeing this tutorial. Like and subscribe for more videos. This is Ingenious Artist. Thank you.